Since it's a short intro, I guess I'll make it while I'm queuing up for a match. Today, I'm going to be using the Pulse Rifle from Neo Muna. You can craft this gun, and I have it crafted to the max with Enhanced Head Seeker and Enhanced Keep Away. I thought this gun was pretty okay when I first crafted it, and I haven't used it ever since. But I made a Trials video challenge yesterday, and I had to use this gun in the challenge, and I don't know why, but I'm in the mood to use it again, so that's why I'm making a video on it. It seems like whenever I use a Neo Muna weapon, I kind of want to keep using it afterwards. Same thing with the Round Robin. I think I used the Round Robin for like a week or two straight and I just could not take it off. I don't know why. Considering this is a pulse rifle, I probably won't use it as much, but I just love the Neo Muna weapons. I don't know what it is. At the very least, these two are very, very good. And we also had the fusion rifle, which was also very strong from Neo Muna. So we had three very good weapons and it just seems like this season, I don't really have anything new that I'm using. Spare rations, while it is good, it's really not that great compared to the Rose anyways. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Let's get into it. There are a lot of days where I just want to get on and make a video, but sometimes I, I literally just want to play. Like, I, I would I would just get gameplay and just not talk over the gameplay or anything. Just, you know, cut up some nice kills and clips and just put on some music and that's it. I want to do that sometimes. I'm thinking about doing it, but I don't know how people would like it. Because I know people like listening to what I have to say sometimes and stuff. But I will say, there are days where I literally just want to game and focus on the game so I could get better gameplay instead. But I mean, I don't mind. I still, I can still get some pretty good gameplay if I talk. It's not too, too big of a deal. It would be kind of like, not really a montage, but it would just literally just be clips and music and that's about it. I wouldn't do that for every video. I'm talking like maybe once a week or something. Not even. Oh shit. So there was recently a bunch of leaks on Twitter for the next season and the season after that. And just basically like three seasons of leaks on Destiny 2. And I thought it was real for a little bit, but people were saying to, make, to be careful because a lot of leaks on Twitter are usually fake. You know, which is fair. Uh, people like to just start up uh, some hype for no reason, kind of troll people. And there was a huge leak on Twitter. And there was a lot of things that looked way too good to be true. And I, I got really excited for a couple days because I thought it was real. Because typically, some, sometimes, sometimes they are real. Sometimes the leaks do come true. And uh, Gary sent it to me, and they're typically right. So I was like, okay, I'll trust Gary on this one. And it turned out the leaks were not true. And they had a bunch of different stuff, like five different Crucible maps, five new guns, uh, you know, some older maps coming back. They were even going to change Gambit. And once I saw that, I was like, okay, maybe this isn't 100% true, because when are they ever going to be... Okay, actually, after the five maps, or the three, four Crucible maps... Uh, I already knew it was probably going to be fake, but I got really excited and people were very, very hype on Twitter, very vocal about it. And it's just crazy to me that even if they just made like five new Crucible guns, you know, three or four new maps, and, uh, you know, just change the game modes a little bit. There was even a 1v1 game mode in, in the leak. Stuff like that could bring people back so quick. And it's just, it doesn't even sound like it's that big of a deal. It's just a couple things that they're more than capable of doing. And we're not asking for a huge DLC. You know, a couple guns and a ooh, couple guns and a new map. That's about it. And I was just so so excited. I was so let down when it was fake. And obviously, it's not Bungie's fault that it's fake. But it just goes to show, man, that we are desperate for some content right now. I froze that guy. All right, nice. Okay, ignore the aim. Yeah, ignore the aim. Why did I run out of the well? Okay. <gasps> Hold on. Let me reload, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was so terrible. Dude, I can't talk and play sometimes. I feel like an idiot. There we go. I'm not going to post the uh, leaks in the video or anywhere just so people don't get, you know, false advertisement or anything. And of course, so they don't get trolled like I did. I don't want people to get excited for no reason. Oh, I got a kill with my rocket. Uh-oh. I will say after using the messenger, though, you do get used to the range on the messenger. Like, the range on this gun is not bad. It's just messenger has that extra zoom. So you're definitely feeling it when uh, when you're using it. And when you swap off of it, you guys already know. I'm going to abuse the hell out of this map and just float as much as I can. I mean, it's literally the best, <laughs> the best warlock map in the entire game. So I'm just going to go around floating whenever I can. Maybe I'll get some kills. I'm just a little too far out for people, though. All right, here we go. I'm going to sword this guy. And there was one more behind him. There he is. He has a hand cannon, though. 
I don't know. See, the thing is, if they have a scout rifle or something and I'm challenging from that far, I'm kind of screwed. Imagine he hit me. Holy shit. All right, we're going to scroll out of here because uh, there's a little too many people. I feel like I feel like kind of an asshole just floating because I know how OP it is on this map, bro. I played against Warlocks doing it sometimes, especially with the, with the scout rifles. It's way better with a scout rifle. Oh, we have the damage boost from an uh, from an orb of light. That's actually cool. If you haven't played Destiny in a while, maybe you're just taking a break. Uh, the servers have been very bad. Uh, they've been extremely bad for the past like season, maybe season and a half. And they were down yesterday for a lot of people for almost a, an entire day. Like it was, I'm talking like 15 to 17 hours of not being able to play the game. Uh, for myself included, I couldn't get on and stream yesterday because the servers were down. I went to bed, I woke up, and surprise, surprise, the servers actually completely went down. Not only for me, but for everyone. They took them down completely because people could still not get on. And uh, it's been getting pretty bad, boys. I can't lie. Sometimes it's, it's kind of worrying a little bit sometimes because uh, I don't know any other game that's been having server issues like this. And it's kind of frustrating. I can understand why everyone's pissed off. And they always go under emergency maintenance, which seems like every single week at this point. Uh-oh. <laughs> another one. Come on, bitch. Oh, I thought he was about to shoot another fucking Wither or uh, Jotun. Oh, he has a Phoenix Dive. And that Firebolt apparently did not tag him. I'm only using Firebolts, by the way, so I can get my grenade quicker to float. Uh, if I was not floating, I would definitely not be using Firebolts whatsoever. But you can heal through a uh, through Heat Rises if you consume your grenade. So it kind of functions like a healing grenade as well at the same time. It's not bad. And Firebolts are really good if you have the Aspect on. I'm obviously not using the uh, grenade Aspect, just so I can float around and stuff. Way, way better in my opinion. Also, one other thing, the spawns in this in 6v6 are very bad now. Same thing for comp as well. They made a change to the spawns entirely for basically every single game mode. Obviously, excluding Trials. But they've been terrible. I don't know if you've played any 6v6 or even just, like I said, competitive. But it's very, very bad. People will spawn in front of you. People will always spawn next to their team, which might sound like a good thing. But it makes it really, really annoying if you're trying to flank their spawn or something. And like I said, so in, in some people's eyes, it seems like it's a good thing. So you can't pub stomp. But you shouldn't be penalized for pushing the other team. Oh, this guy's trying to leave the game. I think he accomplished it. Yep. 